Okay, guys, welcome back to the Crypto Back Cave. Today, we're going to be talking about an announcement from Canadian light electric vehicle manufacturer Daymac and their upcoming electric car that can reportedly mine Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin when it's charging or parked. According to the firm's announcement yesterday, so that was on the 1st of June 2021, they are going to re release a car called the Daymac Spiritus. And it is an electric car set to roll out in 2023. It'll come fitted with what they describe as an industry-leading GPU, so that's a graphics processing unit, in mining price to profit. Uh, now, I think we, we'll, we'll take a bit of a look, uh, dive in at um, whether or not this is feasible shortly. But nonetheless, this is a very interesting story. Um, Daymac are in their announcement. They are describing it as the first car in history with mining hardware and cryptocurrency technology programmed into the user interface. Perhaps most notably, they're actually claiming that uh, it is going to be a, an appreciating asset. They, they say in an actual quote, whereas most vehicles are depreciating while they sit in your garage, the Nebula miner will make you money while your Spiritus is parked. They describe it as an environmentally friendly crypto miner node that includes the Daymac Nebula mining hardware, the Nebula crypto wallet, and solar charging capabilities. So whether or not this is really feasible, I'm not sure, because when you take a look at the technology required uh, in you know 2021 terms, um, it seems unlikely based on the price of the car that it will be a profitable mining machine once it's parked. Now, uh, just having a look at the price of the car here, and I'll evaluate their claims against the price of the car, all proposed, so they proposed the proposal for the, the claims, price of the car, and then we'll review some of the currently available crypto mining hardware and what it can do in terms of 1 million hashes per second and its total hash rate in its mining capabilities. So the Spiritus is going to come in a deluxe model form, which will be priced in US dollars at 19995 and an ultimate model priced at 149000 Now, interestingly, these two models were... Uh, you know, I don't know if there'll be any in between, but take those two models. Uh, apparently, there is no difference in their mining capabilities. So it, it, the, the difference is just in their driving performance, such as top speed and battery life, and in added features such as wireless charging and custom paint. So assuming that the mining hardware capabilities are identical, we'll take the base model, which is the deluxe, which is valued, which is proposed to be valued at 19995 and uh, we're going to look at that that price and sort of ponder the notion as to whether or not that can be a profitable mining rig while it's parked. Um, at this stage, it doesn't appear to be. Just quickly, uh, it was very interesting. On the Twitter of documenting Bitcoin, they came out uh, announcing it, uh, <laughs> not announcing it, but commenting on it 13 hours ago, saying uh, the Canadian auto manufacturer Daymac just announced their new series of electric cars will mine Bitcoin with solar energy when charging, and they're accepting Bitcoin as payment. This is pointless, but incredible at the same time. I think, uh, yeah, I sort of get where they're coming from. The other thing that, that is also interesting, just quickly, on the notion of, of, this, of these cars is they're accepting pre-orders for them now in advance that can be paid in crypto. Um, and they're also looking at leasing options in crypto and all of that sort of thing with Cardano, Doge, uh, and so on and so forth, Bitcoin. Um, so it, look, it's a very interesting concept. You've got to take your hat off to their innovative nature here. But what I'm interested in is, is it actually possible to, to buy a car that will give you any significant return on investment like the sort of leading us to believe at the moment? So what I'm going to do is take a little look at what is involved in creating a Bitcoin uh, mining rig. I'll take Bitcoin as an example. I'll look at Ethereum in a minute. And I'm going to look at Bitcoin mining rig in the form of like a home PC. And uh, then I'm going to take a look at um, the, I guess, the non-home PC variant, which would be uh, like an ASIC miner. So, uh, first of all, with the home PC sort of option, you, what you're going to need is a motherboard, CPU, RAM, storage, 
power supply unit, so on. It's like, like a standard computer, um, but it, with the exception that you're going to need multiple gr really, really high-powered graphics processing units. Um, so that so really, it can be just moderately good PC all round. Um, and but yeah, the, the the key different, the key point of difference is that you're going to need multiple high-powered uh, graphics processing units, which is like suitable for crypto mining. Uh, and you're looking, so for instance, if you look at the latest NVIDIA CMP HX, which is a described, which is a dedicated GPU for professional mining, and you're having a look at the price of those per unit, um, the top of the line model uh, is uh, reportedly going to be selling for around about one thousand six hundred dollars each for the 90 hx gpu and you have a look at the specifications on that that's going to be able to mine the ethereum uh, at uh, the ethereum hash rate mining statistic on the top of the line latest nvidia card um, is going to be 86 in terms of 1 million hashes per second and if you get out the ethereum mining calculator here and you just type that in, like in general terms. Profit per day will be around six dollars in Ethereum in US dollars. Um, you know, it translates to forty-two dollars a week, one hundred and eighty-one dollars a month, two thousand two hundred and eighty-seven dollars a year. So you know, it's so one card. So if you're buying one um, Nvidia uh, mining card, with this the top top spec ninety HX card. Um, that will more than pay for itself in one year, but not by that much. It'll pay for itself by, you know, say you'll go about $600 profit on just the card per year. Um, I mean, obviously the ratio stays about the same. If you're to get two of those cards, you know, and you're to, so the profit per year, so it literally does work. Like it'll just double. So if you put 1 million hashes per second, if you buy two of the cards, uh, so in this case, that'll be $3,200. You'll make a profit for that year of 4400 So they pay for themselves, but not by much when you've got to factor in all of the other components that you'll need. And I'm just going to quickly run through here some of the recommendations. Like for instance, on this website, they've gone through, it's just like very generic. You can find this information anywhere, like an Asus B250 mining expert motherboard, they can be up to you know four or five hundred dollars give or take a hundred dollars depending which one you go for cpu you don't need the cutting edge cpu but something like an i5 at least would be good they're relatively cheap but again it's still 125 dollars ram you know probably the one of the cheaper things but still 65 dollars per stick and you can, they were sort of recommending at least 16 gigabytes of ram um, storage you'd like a couple of solid state drives they're recommending as a general rule of thumb i would agree with that around a hundred dollars each you know a couple of power supply units so you know you're just just saying here th these prices all add up in terms of evaluating it as said how cost effective it actually is to do the mining power supply unit hundred dollars you'll need a couple of those because um just skipping ahead the the clincher here so like up until this point if you're looking at it from a pc perspective and i haven't got onto asic mining rigs just yet all of this um uh, you know, or add all these hundreds of dollars here, plus the one um, r very, very high-end NVIDIA graphics card, which in the, the one that I'm looking at, the 90HX um, edition, is more contemporary than this and more expensive, obviously. This particular one, uh, which is the RTX 3060 Ti, wouldn't give you the same mining ha uh, hash rate for Ethereum. Um, you know, like my point is like the price of an actual PC style mining rig really does add up. And it makes it when you look at the the, pro, the return on investment, um, I mean, you'd be, you'd, be flat, you'd be pretty well flat out breaking even in a year really and that's with quite that is with that figure there of 172 1 million hashes per second is if you are, if you are buying two of the most powerful card that nvidia currently offer so that's that option and so like just comparing it back to the car for a second uh, do you really th and like the price of that machine do you really think that a car that's worth you know under 20 or around twenty thousand dollars would have something that is comparable to a mining rig even of that kind of uh, of that nature 
which is hard, in itself is hardly going to be profitable. So they would have to have one hell of a rig to make it profitable. And I don't think it's really feasible. You know, you're getting to the point now we've got, say, $5,000 of that price would be just in the mining hardware. You know, I'm well aware that they may be going to refine the technology so you can get a much more efficient mining type of system. You know, they're describing some of the technologies that may indeed be on board this, um, you know, which is, you know, nebula mining hardware and so on and so forth, which may all be really integrated as such that it's very very efficient in in its um one million hashes per second or its total hash rate but still it looks unlikely that it would be like profitable you know you might like really it's not going to be super exciting in the amount of bitcoin you're going to be able to mine um the other the other option is when you look at asic um mining kind of like dedicated mining kind of machines so i'm on miningstore.com.au and they actually um sell like they specialize in asic miners <clears throat> i'm going to go in and have a look have a look at some of the prices so aside if you go down the route which is not building a pc based uh, mining system you're going to look at an asic miner and they're built with the sole purpose of mining and it stands for application specific integrated circuit and so in australia they're ranging from about 1990 all the way up to eleven thousand two hundred dollars and uh, the, the interesting thing here is that um, if you're looking at some of the, the actual machines that are available, one of the more popular at the moment is this one, the Antminer S17e. And it's designed specifically for mining Bitcoin, and it can mine at a rate of 64th slash um, S, which stands for total hash rate. So if you go to the Bitcoin, and, and that is for the price of $9,000. So give or take, that might be just under eight thousand dollars US. So sorry, yeah, just under eight thousand, seven and a half thousand US. Say, um, you know, so fairly expensive system, and that's the the amount of hash rate, you know, total hash rate to per second, right? Okay, now if you go to a Bitcoin mining calculator and you're actually looking at how much Bitcoin can I mine with that, if we put in sixty four ths, right, power consumption is what is equal to that machine there and the profit per day is eight dollars profit per year is three thousand dollars right so it really it's not even paying for itself in a year um and you know you also think too in a year most probably it's going to be um more competitive you're gonna have to upgrade your hardware uh, and it's going to be, you know, so I don't, I don't feel like it's really a profitable, <laughs> like really in the short term, at least it's certainly not profitable. Um, even if you're going for, for like an ASIC style mining system. So, you know, when you relate this back to the car and you look at the price of the cars, um, although they're brilliant, brilliant in concept, I don't think that, uh, potential people that are interested in this car should get too excited about, um, the amount of Bitcoin that they will be able to mine. I mean, at this stage, it looks to me very very unlikely that they'll be able to mine enough bitcoin ethereum um to be uh, to be like profitable in a significant way although as i said hats off to them i think it's a brilliant idea the car looks pretty cool in terms of its design and no doubt we'll start to see other companies like tesla jumping on board this general concept um the other thing i just want to talk about briefly is that when these new nvidia um cards were announced they created a bit of a splash on reddit um, people are getting pretty excited. There's quite a lot of information going around here um, on, you know, on Reddit and all that sort of thing. But when you, uh, you know, again, when you look at the the Ethereum hash rate, it's really it's debatable as to whether or not it's going to be profitable. You know, because you look at, you know, you look at it, it's not necessarily, um, you know, I'll just quickly. So the top of the range one, just to remind everyone, eighty six, um, one million hashes per second for Ethereum. You know, you're making two thousand two hundred and eight dollars a year US. A card, you know, um, Nvidia um, outsource the actual production of the cards to other companies, um, such as you know Asus, you know Gigabyte, MSI, so on and so forth. And you know, you read, you hear that the approximate price of one of these cards is going to be around one thousand six hundred dollars. So you know, it'll pay for itself in a year. As I said, though, when you factor in all of the other components required to build a mining rig, like this is a non-ASIC mining rig. I'm talking a PC. Uh, I'm, this, this would not go into an ASIC 
mining rig like there this is a different class of rig altogether but you know, if we're talking about a pc it's not you know particularly profitable so yeah in a way i must say i agree with documenting bitcoin um in in their their general um you know incredible it's incredible but pointless you know really i think that sums it up pretty well definitely incredible arguably pointless nonetheless like all of crypto purely fascinating thanks for listening guys and we will check back in soon